Here are four tips that will help with your sound production on the mandolin. And number one is finding the right pick size, shape, and thickness. And a lot of mandolin players end up choosing these big triangle picks or these rounded picks with a thickness of about one to 1.5 millimeters. A lot of people start out on these teardrop guitar shaped picks. But compared to a thicker pick like this, much darker sound. Tip two is your pick placement. You usually don't want to play too close to the bridge here where it's really bright and tinny or too far over the fretboard where it's really soft and mellow. Usually the sweet spot is right here at the bottom of your fretboard. Tip number three is your pick angle. Most mandolin players don't play with the pick flat against the strings like this because you hear a lot more of the plastic of the pick against the metal strings. Instead, a lot of people angle the pick in like this or angle the neck up so that the front edge of the pick meets the strings on the downstrokes and the back edge on the upstrokes. Tip number four is pick follow through. This is something I stole from the great Bruce Lee who said that you had to punch through a board of wood in order to break it instead of punching at it. Same idea with the pick and the strings. Make sure that you follow through in order to get the best sound production that you have on the mandolin.